Hey Snackers, have you ever wondered how to solve complex networking problems over the internet in this increasingly connected world? In episode 35 of DevNet Snack Minute, Matt and Kareem chat with Prav Singh, Group Product Manager of Cisco's Thousand Eyes, to tell you more. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey, everyone. Matt Dinapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 35 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10-minute weekly all things DevNet, where we teach you about coding, APIs, and just some cool stuff that we think you might like to know. And the cool thing we're talking about today is Thousand Eyes. And Ooh. we have our guest, Rob. Rob, do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm Prab. Um, Prab Singh. I'm part of our product team at Thousand Eyes. Um, I lead our core product around cloud enterprise agents, which most folks know us by, uh, around network synthetics, the visualization that we do, and and helping helping folks solve problems across the cloud and the internet. That's really cool. Um, can you just kind of give us a ground level introduction to what Thousand Eyes is, so that um, our viewers can kind of understand how it fits into what Cisco does and what they can potentially do with programmability and, and network engineering and all the stuff that we talk about here. Yeah, absolutely. So I joined, I joined Thousand Eyes in 2015. And since sort of the beginning of Thousand Eyes and like the inception of Thousand Eyes, the idea behind the, the, the technology behind Thousand Eyes is how do we solve complex networking problems across the internet? as that become sort of the corporate backbone over time. And if you actually think about you know, what really is truly happening, you've kind of got three big elements of an IT infrastructure um, uh, setup that are all, all at once changing to serve user needs. One, applications are obviously moving to the cloud. So you've got either you know, on-prem applications that are completely being SaaS delivered or applications that are traditionally were on-prem are moving to AWS or GCP or Azure or Alibaba. Um, and then over time, we're modernizing those apps to be able to use those in a cloud native fashion. Um, at the same time, to deliver those the application experience to the same set of users, there's a need to change the networks that allow access to these applications. So we're thinking about the SD WAN transformation is really as a way to allow users to reach applications and now increasing cloud delivery. Now, as a result of that, we also have security in the mix. And how do we think about security in a distributed fashion where you've got branches? Traditionally, even I mean, about a year and a half ago, we all didn't think we'd be working remotely as much as we do today. But you know, now you've got, you essentially need to have this middle mile layer around security that secures your home office workers as well as branch office workers. So how do you provide a solution that one is agnostic to where the user lives and agnostic to where the application lives? but then give you the same level of visibility and understanding about the network as if it were your own network. And that's really why Thousands exists. And I think I'm really excited to continue our mission around how do we make sure that our teams, especially network teams, have the same level of visibility and control over how their users and their employees and customers access their applications. That's that's awesome. So uh, Prabh, just this is something that I've... Uh... You know, talking in talking to a lot of our internal engineers um, who are looking into playing with Thousand Eyes, there are different types of agents that are offered as part of the product. Can we talk a little bit about the different types and what does it mean when you know, especially when we're doing the entire you know from client all the way to cloud observability? Yeah. So there's there's sort of three big product lines that Thousand Eyes offers today. One is around what we call you know, internet and WAN, which is the area I lead and is centered around cloud and enterprise agents. So think of these as cloud agents are effectively uh, in agents that Thousand has deployed all around the world across partnerships that we have with COLA providers, service providers, et cetera. There's uh, four, almost 400 locations around the world, uh, agent locations um, in around 150 plus countries. Uh, and what that allows us to do is allow um, service owners that provide an application, think like pure SaaS uh, uh, application providers or any, any business that operates a service on the internet that customers reach, helping them understand how the internet is serving their traffic to their users. Now, the same set of agents can also be deployed on-premise 
called enterprise agents within custom branch office locations, AWS VPCs, Azure locations, et cetera, that provide sort of an inside out view of how your branches connect to applications within your data centers, out to the cloud, or to each other. Now that's sort of the first component around just core network visibility across your branch office and applications. Recently, we've seen tremendous growth also in endpoint agents, which is really our solution for home office workers that are um, accessing applications from essentially a home office network that can sometimes not be reliable. And you almost need to have a full stack solution that allows you to understand, is this a network problem? Is this a device problem? Is this an ISP problem? Is this a VPN problem or is that an application problem? And so endpoint agent is actually holistic in its approach is trying to understand all the way from device to your local network, to your ISPs, and to the applications that you serve. Um, and then third is kind of this concept around internet insights. It, and it's really, really exciting because we're actually about to launch some new and exciting things around this as well, which takes all of the data that we capture across the internet and serves it back to our users to provide further context into the problem of when you're having a problem, is it just you or is it a lot of users in that location? Is this a larger ISP problem? Is this a larger SaaS application outage that you generally would not know unless you, you essentially went to Twitter, went to Down Detector, went to status pages of like external services? And sometimes it can take you know, 10, 20, 30, almost sometimes an hour to really figure out the root cause of an issue. And you spent all this time trying to understand, is there a larger problem? So we can actually have this, this, this opportunity over the long time to use our collective data set as all the information that we capture across public networks, across the cloud, enterprise agents, and endpoint agents, and use that to further enrich and show very quickly to users if there's a local problem or a broader problem that's impacting them. That, this is amazing because this solves one of the, the challenges that we've always talked about here at DevNet for a long time, which is, you know, you get to a certain point up the stack and there's kind of a, a, a void space between APMs like AppDynamics and some of the more traditional telemetry streaming, uh, network management type uh, oversights and things like that. It sounds like Thousand Eyes fills that gap. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think at the end of the day, the way we look at it is it always starts with users, clients, and servers, right? And applications and users. And if we think about how do we understand performance of my application, it has to start with how is the application architected? Um, what are the dependencies of the application? Then how do we ensure that the networks that provide the dependency connectivity and the user connectivity are optimal for our network teams? And so in the past, we've, we've made sure and we, we've partnered with application owners that typically use AppDynamics, could be using your relics, could be using Datadog, to really, one, understand the application architecture. And now that we're part of Cisco, we actually see um, a, a, a further opportunity to essentially marry the two solutions together with thousands of AppDynamics. We've already had further some inroads already where we can potentially look at application architectures and allow for network synthetic data to be collected for application dependencies that would be almost automatic. So can we use application performance data um, and then marry that with network performance data to try to understand if there's a problem outside my application stack that's impacting users, or is there a problem within my application stack due to a VPC, for example, security group or a firewall within my two East and East West traffic that be causing, causing problems and we can essentially use thousands to be able to solve those application layer issues. And is this then what we call here at Cisco, and this is something that we're aligning with, is uh, full stack observability? Is that is that right? Yeah, I think you know it's that's what we're aiming towards. I think there's there's a lot we can continue to develop to to get there, but I think that the end, end vision here is how do we take a full stack common operating language for our joint customers that can use any of the Cisco solutions on the network visibility front or the application visibility and marry them in a way that allows them deep observability data across the entire stack. Um, and so look forward to some, some additional things we're working on and toying with, with different teams across Cisco that essentially realize that vision over time. Rob, this is a great introduction to Thousand Eyes and all of the things that we can uh, start to realize with it. 
Um, Snackers, uh, I, know, I know we already have a, a couple of uh, code exchange entries out there that implement uh, Thousand Eyes. And you can also check out some of Thousand Eyes uh, APIs and their API documentation on developer.thousandeyes.com. Um, stay tuned on DevNet, stay tuned on Thousand Eyes. Uh, there's going to be more content and awesome things coming from them. Prob, thank you so much. Wait, 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 before, before. I know, before, I was going to say, before, do you want to oh, ask the question? Or do, oh, or do no, you, you, go, you go, you go, you okay. go. So, yeah, Prob, before we let you go, <laughs> we ask everyone this question. If you had one superpower, uh, what would it be and why? Yeah, that's a good one. I think it's, it's got to be very topical and essentially something I dealt with last night where I have a 14-month-old and I wish I was a baby whisperer. To really understand what's oh. going on. <laughs> yes. Um, she falls she was sleep trained. She was sleeping 12 hours a day. And then last night she woke up at 3 a.m. and again at 5 a.m. and again at 6 a.m. And I was like, what did we do wrong? Like, I, everything was going so great. And I wish I could really understand is something bothering her. So, anyway, if I could be a baby whisperer and try to understand baby language, that would be a superpower I want to have. That's awesome. awesome. As All dads right. of young kids, I think we can agree with you on that one, Prof. Totally. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Snackers. Uh, that's all the time we have, and uh, catch us ne next episode. Thank you, Snackers.